my sister, Mandy B. What's up? We're talking about more nostalgic stuff from my childhood, as we usually do. Yay! <laughs> I feel like we've done so many videos like this, but all of these facts are new ones. You haven't heard them before. Anyways, guys, don't forget that in the description is Mandy's YouTube channel. She does lifestyle. She does a lot of vlogging stuff. She does home decor. She Trips, does cooking. Travel. We do it all. It's all over there. We do so it all. Check it out down below. <laughs> all right, guys. So the first fact is about mood rings. And I know you and I had a lot of mood rings as a kid. And mood necklaces. They had like mood everything. All the mood. The color changes due to the changes in temperature. This is caused by the special liquid crystal they contain. However, those liquid crystals are often made with poisonous materials like mercury and arsenic. So if it ever leaked and you ingested it, it would be deadly. Whoa. Yeah. And did yours ever actually work? It did when I first bought it, maybe the first week, and then it would just like stop working. No, mine would never like work. I don't ever remember it going from like blue to green to pink to purple. Like it was always just like in the middle. Wait, of ever? Everything. Never. Maybe that's a you thing. Maybe your mood is just... <laughs> always... Maybe I'm like Bella from Twilight and I can't even... It doesn't know. What, like the rings like Edward? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so like deep that you just can't figure it out. I chewed on a glow stick once yeah. and I remember it, that. It was all over my mouth, it was all over my clothes, it was all over my dad's car. I was sitting beside you as you were doing it. And it but kids do that. No one does that. No, kids do that. You know those like spiky squeeze balls that had liquid in it? <gasps> yeah. One time it popped in my mouth and that liquid went inside of it in me. <laughs> Inside of it. Yeah, I think I remember that happening. And I freaked out. Wasn't that like at grandma's? I like swallowed some. No, I think I was in my bedroom. I don't think they make a lot of this stuff anymore because kids probably died. Because it's normal for kids to want to put things in their mouths and chew them, so... There's a song about that. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't, don't you stuff it in your face. face. Don't you put it in your mouth. You might get sick real quick. That's all I remember. <laughs> the next fact is about the cowardly lion's costume. The most interesting and somewhat disturbing disturbing costume in the film was the one for the cowardly lion, which was actually made from real lion hides. Yeah, and he was sweating so badly and he had to take breaks because he was he was getting... I mean, I don't care about what he was going through. I'm worried about where they got this lion hide from. No, I know, but imagine... I know, it would be being terrible. Being in that. Imagine being the lion. <laughs> well, yeah, but also imagine being any animal that's ever been skinned. I'm like concerned, you're like, but he was sweating. <laughs> Okay, the next fact is that Cinderella's stepsisters were actually very sinister. In the Brothers Grimm version of the classic fairy tale Cinderella, the evil stepsisters go to the extreme of cutting off some of their toes and parts of their heel to fit into the glass slipper found by the prince. In the end, their evil ways are punished when birds gouge their eyes out. Ew! Is it just me or do you think the Brothers Grimm had issues? You don't just yeah. write stories like that because all the fairy tales are like gruesome, horrible, unthinkable. Yeah. A lot of like underage child yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like you've got to be a little mental. I feel like to create content like that. I don't want to be mean, but I mean, a lot of their stuff would not fly today to be published. No. I think it's more disturbing that Disney would take it and make it into something like their own, like whatever, family friendly, but the roots come from a much darker place. But maybe it's good that they made something good from something bad. They like remade well, the fairy no, tales. because I, I disagree because I, I think it was created from a dark yeah. place. No, I get that. It's kind of messed up. Which is pretty sinister in itself. Okay, the next fact is about apple seeds. Apple seeds do contain trace amounts of cyanide, which of course is poisonous. Luckily, you would have to eat a whole bunch of apple seeds to suffer from the effects of cyanide poisoning, but it is still recommended to always spit them out when eating an apple. Um, is that because of humans? A lot it's of natural? A lot of poisons come from plants and natural like fruits and stuff. But like who eats apple seeds anyway? Okay, the next fact is Lilo and the Ring. Two of the biggest movies in 2002 were the Disney animated film Lilo and Stitch and the horror movie The Ring. But not many people know that DeVay Chase has a prominent role in both movies. She served as the voice for the sweet-natured Lilo in Lilo and Stitch and was also the actress who played the evil and creepy Samara in The Ring. No I didn't way. know that. I know. 
They really make her scary in it. Well, I mean, you can't even really see her face. Like, her hair is completely over her face. She kind of looks like if Lilo stuck her hair in water and, like... When Lilo grows up yeah. into, like, a demon. Is the aliens messed with her head? What a weird way to, like, switch up your year. Like, first part of the year, she's like, Lilo? And they're like, okay. Disney. And now you're gonna be super evil. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, I, like, cried researching this. The sad end of Flipper. It is widely thought that Kathy, one of the dolphins that portrayed Flipper, took her own life. Her former trainer, Rick O'Berry, believed that in the last stages of her life, Kathy was the victim of depression, perhaps triggered by living in isolation. She apparently swam into the arms of O'Berry, took one last breath, and allowed herself to drown. I never heard of that. I bawled my eyes out when I heard. And it's really, really sad. And I mean, a lot of animals, especially back in the 1900s when they were making movies, they did not treat them well at all. I mean, even still to today, but back then, the standards were really low. Really low. And think of places like SeaWorld and like zoos and stuff. Like, you just have to educate yourself. I mean, like, I know it's nice to see animals close up and it's like an experience like that you normally wouldn't be able to have as a human being in like whatever country you're in. These animals are suffering so bad, especially ocean animals. They literally go crazy. There's videos of them circling in their tank. It's the same with circuses and like elephants. Elephants lose their minds too. When animals are depressed like that, they like sway. It's sad. And then people get upset when they turn on their trainers. Oh, those are the worst. I hate it when they like finally they've had enough and they just like lash out or they see their baby is getting taken away or something like that. And then they get punished. You know, they get punished or even worse. Next is Fruit Loops. <laughs> Blessed be the Fruit Loop. You've probably debated with your friends or siblings over what your favorite flavor of Fruit Loop is. The truth is that there are no color-coded Fruit Loop flavors, as no matter the pigment, all Fruit Loops are flavored the exact same. Really? I don't know if I believe this. Green and yellow were like my favorite, yeah. but then... I don't know if I believe that. No, because I remember like trying them and like them being completely the same. That's why people's minds are blown, but I looked it up. It's all the same. Maybe it's like the vision of like seeing the color makes your mind think that it's different. Yeah, like when I ate yellow, I'm like, it's gonna be like lemony. Like that's what my brain told yeah. me. Yeah. And maybe that is actually yeah. a thing. Like, well, the mind is very strong. Yeah. Next is Mr. Rogers Mandela effect. Although you might think that the hook from the song played at the start of each episode was, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The lyric is actually, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. No. Yeah. Comment down below what you remember. There is far too many Mandela effects. I know. It's upsetting. I know. Whenever I do it, I feel unsettled. So, like, the first thing I think of is, like, Houston, we have a problem. And then also, Luke, I am your father. Yeah. No Luke. I know! And the Berenstein Bears, there's so many. The Berenstain. Okay, this next one's really sad. It's about the kid who played Peter Pan. Bobby Driscoll, who provided the voice for Disney's Peter Pan, died with no money, unclaimed, and unidentified in an abandoned apartment building at the age of 31. People think it may have been due to a drug addiction. He died in New York in 1968 and was buried in an unmarked grave because no one claimed his body. It wasn't until a year later that his mother discovered what happened to him thanks to a a fingerprint match from the police station. Oh, well, he kind of looks like the cartoon. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I think they usually style them to look like the character. That is really, really, really upsetting. Yeah, when I heard this, I was like, what? Was that the only movie he ever did? I'm sure he did a few kids' movies. Let's see. Yeah, he did a few. He did Treasure Island. Wait, so He was in Melody Time. Oh my gosh. So how could he have not been known? People think he isolated himself because of his drug addiction. He had no money. He was homeless. So he died by himself. But how would he have no money? Think of how long ago Peter Pan was. It was 1953. You would get barely anything for that, especially as a child actor. So it's understandable that he would have been broke. Wow, this is really like changing. Like I'm gonna, now I'm gonna watch these movies and be like so sad. <laughs> you can fly, you can fly, oh, you no. can fly, you can fly, you can fly. The next fact is about Simba's lifespan. The average lifespan of a lion in the wild is 15 years. So if Simba from The Lion King was real, he would have died in 2009. Just a fact. Okay, the cartoon? Yeah, if he was real, he would have died in 2009. Um, so they live to 15, so like Simba when he, like, so he would have been like, well, like 10 when he went to claim his... <laughs> yeah, but he wouldn't have been 10 like we know a 10 year old. <laughs> hey, Dad! Oh, wait, his dad died. <laughs> wait! 
triggered Mufasa. <laughs> hey, Scar, I want my land back. Well, Mufasa's in the sky, it's fine. He's in the sky. Yeah, remember at the yeah. end of the movie, he remember. like- Remember. Yeah, no, but not just in that part. <laughs> He watches over them like a number two. I know. He's just there. He lives in you. Exactly. He, he lives, lives in me. <laughs> oh, such a good movie. He watches over everything we see. Into the water. Into the truth. In your reflection. He, he lives, lives in, in you. you. Oh, you just. <laughs> you literally. I was trying to harmonize you just saw. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very scattered video. Well, at video. least it ended off on a, on a higher high, note than last the videos. last one. Anyways, don't forget to check out Mandy's channel, link down below. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Is it that extreme? Like, I don't know. To be like... <laughs> I mean, some of them are. <laughs> Not to be like... And this we should just be like crying, like, because it's so sad. Apology video, and you're like, would you guys click on the video if you were like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I feel like there's no other position other than there's like and all my thumbnails look the same because what else do you do? Like, yeah, and people are like, why do you make faces? So you want the thumbnail to just be like. It's too bad it's not like TikTok and there's no like GIF, you know? To, oh yeah. To we're, be like we're kind of like, or like. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm eating. <laughs> okay. <laughs>